So this is TrueBots, my robot band. I'm a musician and an artist, and I'm interested in automation and robotics. Not so much how it can help us or maybe take our jobs, but what they can say about us. Robots will be our companions on Earth as long as we humans will be here, maybe even longer. It is the next step of the evolution, and we can decide what they should be, but at the same time, what we should be. This far, we have designed robots to be our slaves, or our obedient servants, or resilient, hardworking soldiers. And we often design them to look like us. I mean, is that the best we can imagine? Synthetic ape, right? You've probably seen this list of jobs that likely will be replaced by automation and robotics. There is no doubt that we will be outperformed in many of the things that we do today. Actually, here, now, many of us have robot jobs. If you look at the list of creative jobs, it's not that bad. So maybe that's what we should be, not robots. I manage what we like to call an, um, an idea lab in Stockholm, Sweden. And it's a place where we use different technologies to build new things. And we try to bring new ideas into the world, ideas that weren't here before. And creativity. Imagination and collaboration, these are unique human abilities. And that is why we, the naked ape, could take over the world, right? And that's why we can start to change the evolution and build synthetic copies of ourselves. Somehow, robots reflect what we want to be and not be. As an experiment, we built 25 stupid robots that could only drive forward. But they were all carrying a sign saying, help, we lost. Please steer us in the right direction. So these robots had to trust the goodness of people in order to reach their destination. 24 out of 25 actually did. And this is Anna. And uh, she's. Would you like to play a game of Pong? She's a robot with disabilities. Okay, let's go. She is visually impaired. She is hearing impaired. She doesn't move very well. And um, she easily gets lost. And she got autism. But unlike other robots, she's very open about her difficulties. And I think that's very important for us to remember.
in order to prevent possible future robot racism. <laughs> I always wanted to be invited to a party where robots serve drinks and snacks. But this far hasn't happened. So me and my colleagues built our own staff of eight robotic waitresses. And to be honest, they're not very good at their job. <laughs> but they work for free, they're not members of the union, and they're very nice to have around. Can humans be programmed just like robots? I gave ear protection to a bunch of musicians so they couldn't hear the other musicians. And they had to wear face masks so they couldn't see who they were playing with or how they felt. Inside the ear protection, they had headphones so they could follow the melody that I programmed in real time. And they became robots. I've been dreaming of, about many things, but maybe most of all, to have my own robot band. So me and my colleagues built these, together with a Swedish company called Ferhat Robotics. And then we could design them any way we wanted. My guess is that if you ask, most musicians would say that they'd love to have four arms. So these guys have four arms. And they also communicate, not only with music, but also with colors and light, just like deep sea yellowfish. So robots could be everything that we are not. When we think about how to design the robots for the future, let's not make them like us. The robots are here so that we can be human again. Thank you.
Thank you. Good night.